24. Justin Timberlake hit Noam Chomsky with his car. <laughs> and he died. And they're both Ooh. dead. Well, who died? Noam. Folks, quadruple oh. threat. The, the fourth threat. That's right. Drunk driving. Mm-hmm. Yep. What was the Noam Chomsky dead thing? Did he do like a BB video? No, it was just a rumor that, and then Jacobin posted like the auto obituary that's supposed to post when he oh. dies. And so did so did the the new statesman, and it was uh it was bylined by Giannis Varoufakis, and then his wife had to be like, um, no, Noam's Noam's in the hospital right now, but he's well. I'm not dead. He's doing well. He's almost dead. But it was funny. He's like Jimmy Carter. All these old guys, they're just hanging around because they like the attention. I think Jimmy Carter's doing great. No, he's dried out. He looks like SpongeBob in Sandy's Dome. When it got announced, it just turned into so many people being like, a lot of people didn't know this about Noam Chomsky, but he denied these two genocides and kept like posting shit like that. And now he's alive. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Oh, damn it. I got to wait again. (laughs) Which like they'd probably post that anyway, but it was pretty funny. Yeah. Kind of silly. Don't really know what that was about. That's crazy. He was. Yeah, but he was in the hospital because Justin Timberlake. Yeah. A lot of those genocides, they were in like Cambodian or Khmer or whatever the language is. So how is he supposed to know that? It's not Justin Timberlake's fault, by the way. No, he had like one glass of wine and got and like blew through a stop sign. I, and got pulled over by well, a that's zealous his fault. cop. The cop. The funniest d- detail about it is the cop is so young. He had no idea who Justin Timberlake was. Is that true? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking own. That's why he looks like he's crying in this mugshot. He used to be young, not so much anymore. He heard him say under his breath, this is going to ruin the tour. And he said, what tour? And Justin Timberlake goes, the <laughs> world tour. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> that his again sounds made too. up, man. He has the perfect, uh, <laughs> he has the perfect mugshot from that thing last night to, uh, or to whatever it happened. It's the perfect mm-hmm. mugshot that gay guys are going to be using as a reaction image to shit for like the <laughs> next eight months. <laughs> Which is not if we stop. Gays are first. pretty good at reaction <laughs> images, though. Like I, I respect it. They got game, game. He's but like he doesn't even look that bad in that one. Like the eyes are a little red. No, you but can like just not, tell he was more looks like tired and like upset. Justin looks great for his age, and I wish him the best. And hey, he ain't the first man to get a DUI on the uh, Long Island. Yeah, it's true. But like compared to the eyes of like some of the other like DUI picks, like it just looks a little red. Yeah. Like just that he's like oh. exhausted. Doesn't even look like he's like completely There's out that, of it. I wonder if that would happen with Billy Joel. Because people wouldn't know who Billy Joel was if they were like Zoomers or something. But I think they probably have like they have his picture on the wall at the police true. station. Every police station on mm-hmm. Long Island. And they say, if you find this man going 110 miles an hour and driving through people's yards and stuff. Do not pull him over. And if you do, you have to suck his dick. Well, see, the thing with Billy Joel is that he'll stop eventually when he crashes into somebody's house or a true. Yeah, he does an impromptu you don't performance. Need to pull him over. He just crawls out of the smoldering wreckage, goes over to the piano, and says, Nine o'clock on a Saturday, <laughs> I'm in your house once again. <laughs> yeah, he crawls out of his car, <laughs> singing, Upstairs car. <laughs> <laughs> Promise to pay for all the broken things. <laughs> If you don't call the police on me again. Bye, <laughs> bye, Miss... Wait. Wrong song. <laughs> that's a different Billy Joel song. Yeah, that's, that's Weird Al. That's Dama. Oh, yeah. That's Dama claim. Oh, yeah, there was that guy that wrote, like, a, a parody of the Star Wars song that was about Buddy Holly oh, or some yeah. old tiny bullshit. Yeah, that was, like, a YouTube some guy, loser. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was a YouTube guy. Yeah, he wrote it about like uh, Buddy Holly, the big bopper. He called it the day the music died. <laughs> oh, that bald loser that rewrote Buddy Holly by uh, Weezer and made it about Joe Biden. That bald fuck. That that Peckerwood. Oh, that peanut head ass Peckerwood. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hate how that guy ruined the Weezer song. He didn't even know the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of my favorite fucking songs, and he had to make it about politics. Everything has to be politics. Everything's politics. Uh, I hate I how everything's been politicized. You can't even listen to alternative rock. We sound like Jack's podcast now. Trending. <laughs> Everything's been politicized. Topics trending. <laughs> Fuck. I want to be his friend who just sits there. Yeah, I love that guy. That guy's so you weird. Buttertooth Jimmy? Yes, with I his, would love to be Buttertooth Jimmy. big crackling <laughs> box mod vape. <laughs> Man, he really is his uh, Jack Spike. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, everybody needs a Spike. <laughs> everybody needs a Tammy, and everybody needs a Spike. 
just a guy who's living in someone's house for some reason. No one knows his last name. No one knows mm-hmm. why he's there or how they know him. And he vapes about two gallons of vape juice every day and in, inside of a thing that looks like R2-D2. He <laughs> doesn't yeah. know anything. I'm just... Yeah, he doesn't know anything. And then one day oh. he's just gone. And you don't know if he got picked up for grabbing like, a girl or something. I don't know. Go into, like, the gas station with Spike and... <laughs> He's like, you need anything? And then he comes out with just like a gallon size like thing of vape. Yeah, Fifty five gallon drums of vape juice just going. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you open your trunk? He's dude? the kind of guy that pulls out a fucking a vape that's like a foot and a half across and like six inches wide. And he's like, Yeah, this battery lasts forever. You're like, no shit. <laughs> At that point you should be shooting nicotine. There must be a way to have mm-hmm. IV nicotine. What are the vape laws? What do you mean? Vape laws? I mean, you can you can pretty much vape it whatever unless they say otherwise. I guess. I, I mean, like, because I remember there was a whole lot of talk about the uh, where the like the little the jewels, like the little nice dis- yeah. disposable vapes or whatever. How you couldn't have cool flavors anymore. Uh-huh. Is that yeah. is that that's yes. a thing? Mm-hmm. Is there a market for like the big like vape rigs where you like buy the refillable juice and shit? Um, there are places that cater to those guys, but I don't. I think it's kind of a niche thing because those guys are fucking losers. There were a ton of those stores like four years ago, but a lot of them shuttered because there's just too many. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the guys died or they, uh, they got arrested for child porn. Um, vape, vape stores actually do really well in like resort towns because people go fucking nuts and they lose oh, their shit. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because yeah. like, I, I'm sure like a ton of our listeners vape. Like, I think it's a pretty normal mm-hmm. thing to do. Yeah. Um, I make fun of vapors, but I know it's still better for you than, uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's way yeah, less like, whatever. Gross. I just like trolling them and saying like, uh, like the other day when I tweeted, imagine having a nicotine addiction, not just smoking cigarettes. Everything else looks so dumb. <laughs> it's just lame to have the giant thing that's like in your hand and it's a foot long. Probably yeah. 40% of the guys I work with have like a little vape that they carry around and just hit all the time. And yeah. you get to walk through a, a cloud of like strawberry or mango uh, scent cloud. Yeah, it's so much easier. It's not bad. But you, So you're still allowed to do that in the States, right? Yep. Yeah, they still have the portable ones. I don't, I don't think Juul is the top one anymore. I know there's definitely a push for Zin, which is the little, the packets. Zin's been popping it's off. It's like dipping, but it's in a package and it tastes like mint or something. And it seems like there's some sort of marketing push where they're trying to get right wing guys. It's because the Nelks own it or own part of it or something. The who? It's weird. The Nelks. The Nelk, Nelk boys. Those two, those two little dumbasses. You really don't hear about the Nelks unless you know dumbasses who watch the Nelks. Okay. Like, N-E-L-K? Yeah. You can do IV nicotine, by the way. They actually went storm chasing with Reed Timmer like a month oh. ago, which he rarely does. He said he only take, he'll only take people out on, like, chases if they make a sizable donation to science, like his foundation for more research shit. Mm-hmm. So he definitely charged them, like, 50 grand to do that. That's smart. They, got, they, got, they saw, like, literally five tornadoes a day or something. It's crazy. Hmm. Yeah, they're uh, they're rich. They had Trump on their podcast. Mm-hmm. That's that was cool. Recent. Oh damn, that was recently. They're such they dorks. Pranks. Though. There's guys that think they're so alpha. Yeah, they're just little dipshits, and they go around doing like annoying shit that any Republican guy you know does. Like they gamble, they fucking go shoot big guns. They go to they go to stupid ass shit and like you know bungee jumping and shit. That sounds pretty cool, actually. Oh, it looks like they got killed in a tornado. <laughs> they're like dude perfect, but more chuddy. And they're also more like, uh, they're like, they're like the guys now, if they existed back when we were like in high school, college age, they'd be wearing the fucking, I fuck, I fuck sluts type shirts. Like this. <laughs> I support single moms. It's party hard with sluts. Remember when guys wore those shirts and they'd wear like the fucking yeah, shutter those, shade Like glasses. those beach yeah, the beach shirt, like guys. where it's like black with like rainbow text, or like a like a pink shirt with like black text on it that says "I fuck uh, moms." I think they're like uh, <laughs> Florida guys too. Like they live there. Like they're Nick Merckx types. That would uh, that would explain a lot. Nelk has a, a GoFundMe for the victims of that tornado, and it's called "Help Nelk Rebuild After Tornadoes," and it kind of implies okay. that it happened to them. Yeah, and that the preview <laughs> the preview image is their house, and also Reed Timmer is involved. It says the Nelk boys. Bob yeah. Mennery and Reed Tim are raising money. 
it, and they said all the money raised will be given to families directly affected. So how are you helping Nelk rebuild? Well, because the, they're rebuilding it. It's just their it's a publicity stunt because they were on the stream when those houses got destroyed. I want to see them with a hammer mm -hmm. out there like Jimmy Carter, not to bring him up again. Oh, you <laughs> won't. If they're going to re if they're saying they're going to rebuild, I want them out there. They got their tans and their teeth that look like veneers because they're so white. Those boys do not know what the fuck like different screwdrivers are and shit. They're very, very mm -hmm. stupid. They should get veneers that are normal color. I, I don't even know their names or how to differentiate them. They're basically twins to me, even though they're not. Their names aren't even Nelk. That's weird. Yeah. They're, are they lying to us? They're uh, <laughs> Kyle Forjard and uh, Lucas Gasparini, Braden McDonald, Nico and Marco Martinovic. The two little ugly guys are the main ones. The two little Guido looking motherfuckers. They're based out of Ontario. Oh, really? Canada. Oh, they're Canadian. I forgot about that. Shout out. And then they live in Miami. Oh, that's, yeah, that's what I thought. They're just, they live there. Okay. Okay. Boy, oh boy. Oh, they oh man, Steve, look at those. Oh, okay, that Steve will do Marco it. Marco yeah, and Nico, they look like... Um, he pops up in the uh, um, fucking... And they had, their, they had fucking Tucker Carlson, their Zin, their Zin commercial, when Zin first, like, launched. Those two Serbian guys, they're like, uh, they're like the third and fourth property... Or no, uh, fourth and fifth property brothers. Fifth and, <laughs> yeah, you're right, fourth and fifth, sorry, I was getting ahead of myself. Yeah, because there is yeah, a third one. Are. Damn. There is a third one. I think they might have a lot. brother, too. But he Probably. doesn't look like a property brother. Do they kiss? They, they, I they, wish. They smoosh, they smoosh their asses yeah. together. <laughs> That's such a funny video, man. I wish more guys smashed their butt cheeks together. Island boys trying to create cat dog WMB. <laughs> yeah, what if they got <laughs> stuck that way? I think they should be scissoring with their butts. It'd be awesome. So they'd be perpendicular. So, okay, I get it. But like, I guess you, would you do that backwards then? You'd have to. Um... Yeah, you'd have to. You'd have to. to. Like, I mean, like, not, yeah. You'd be suspended okay. in some sort of... Oh, yeah, you would if your teacher... Well, if you could do it laying caught, down. You'd certainly be suspended. <laughs> like, one of those things that disabled people have where they, like, lift them up so they can fuck, and it's got all the straps and stuff. Like, you would have to get one of those, but for a normal person, you would, you would have to pretend you have a disability, go in there with a wheelchair or something, or pretend you have CP and say, I want one of those strap-in things. And then you use it to hoist yourself up and then position yourself so you can scissor butt cheeks with your brother. Mm. Mm hmm. Like that. It doesn't seem that hard. I think you could do it without like all the pomp and yeah, circumstance. I mean, people have been doing it for decades before all that stuff existed. What? what do you think they did in the Middle Ages, huh? That's how they wiped their asses. You would wipe your ass on another guy's ass. There could be an iconic gay band called Scissor Brothers. Oh, like the Scissor Sisters. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've always wanted a gay version of the Scissor Sisters. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're way too straight for me. <laughs> yeah, I always wanted a gay brother, and then my mom gave me <laughs> those scissorhead motherfuckers. Speaking of gay bands from twenty or two thousand four, you guys see the Hives are touring? That's wow. crazy. There's gonna be a bunch of guys going to see them because they know them from a bunch of different video game soundtracks. I wanna get free. I wanna get free. Oh shit! That was the vine. They never play that live have... anymore. It fucking sucks. They never play Get Free. Uh, Alex, I was I was googling the Hives to see if they were the Get Free band, like the one from Australia. <laughs> I like could like what's the fucking the also, song? The vines. They never play Last Night, and they never play Are You Gonna Be My Girl. <laughs> I was never into the Hives. <laughs> that sucks. I was never into the Hives. I liked a lot of the other the bands. I like the Stills from Montreal. I'm still in love. And they also did Lola Stars and Stripes. Great song. I don't like Garage Rock. Aaron would, should have known them because they were Canadian. Garage Rock's for trash people. They uh, <laughs> they were a little. Their Aaron would have been listening to some. Oh yeah, not for me. Any band shit. that was wearing like a suit and tie back then, no sir. Oh no, they weren't. Mm -hmm. They weren't that. No, they were just a the band. They were the the Stills. I mean, not the Hives. Okay, yeah, because I, I googled the Hives and they're uh. They're wearing no, some the fucking hives, bow ties. I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't like them because of their vibe with the, the suits and shit, which is... I only like the Fratellis. Which is funny, because I, like, <laughs> I loved, I loved, Fran, no, who I loved Franz Ferdinand. They were basically the same type of shit. But that first Franz Ferdinand album is so good. Franz still rocks. Yeah, he's cool. Too bad he got shot in World War I. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. I wish that he would have made more music, but yeah. oh well. What are you gonna Sounds do? good as fuck, though, for 1914 or whatever. Yeah, that was so long ago. That was the garage rock, the garage rock previval. I liked a lot of those that came in like the early two thousands. Who won World War One? <laughs> uh, I think Europe. Mm hmm. I think we all won. The the fans. Yep. 
Yeah, it's true. The refs won. The refs, yeah, the refs were, I think, the League of Nations. God, the refs. The refs really handed Boston the win last night. Congrats, Alex. I told you. Alex, I told you. I, I was so it. excited. He was, he was streaking in Yeah, I was so excited when I found out the next morning. <laughs> Trying to flip a car. <laughs> yeah, I, I greased up a light pole and put the whole thing on my butt. <laughs> Did you see the racism between the third and fourth quarter? No. They had Lucky no, the Leprechaun. I was doing it. Doing uh, trampoline slam dunks, playing Song 2 by Blur. Damn. Uh-oh. This, I thought on. that was by the Hives. <laughs> oh, uh, Blur changed their name to the Hives the in 2006. Oh, okay. Yeah. Blur was already taken. Wait, I thought they changed their name to Gorillas. Remember that when oh, Blur true. changed their name to Gorillas? Remember when remember Gorillas well, they became, they became a cartoon and, and put a Z at the end of their name instead of an S? My Mandela effect. <laughs> yeah, Damon Albarn, he actually died. Yep. He said, I'm becoming a cartoon. Damon and Liam Albarn from Oasis. I will be leaving my human body and I will be becoming cartoon in cartoon form. Damon Albarn was the uh, bearded guy from the bearded guy from Flight of the Concords. That was Damon Albarn, right? Does anybody else wish the grills were real so we could see him in concert? Yeah. Was there ever a They're mystery not? about who the gorillas were? Was that ever a thing? Kind of. I think, like, when they first came out, just because, like... I thought it might have been the Beatles. <laughs> most people just, like, saw it on MTV or whatever. Because that's what I remember, Tom. I was like, this, what's the great big mystery? Who are these cartoons? <laughs> but I'm going to dox every band like that, like all the metal bands that play, like, anonymously. I'm just yeah. going to start doxing Prozac? Them. <laughs> Who are they? <laughs> Guar? You guys had Prozac, Than- right? Thanafax? Thanafax? Mm. I never, I never the, needed it. <laughs> no, I had Zoloft. No, www. Never get over you, and uh, they had some other songs too. Was that a Canadian band? It must be a Canadian. Yeah, yeah. www. Never get over you by Prozac. Oh, it's P R O Z Z A K. Yeah, and there's like a buff one a and virtual a virtual pop one. music duo. Prozac. Oh yeah, one of them looks like Johnny Bravo. Yeah, kind of. sucks to be cool. you. I know, I know. Uh, I know, I know. Uh. That's how the no. song goes. <laughs> oh, those were the guys that produced B44 Get Down. No oh. shit. Prozac. Wow. Simon and Milo. They're the opposite of depression. Why do they call that? Yeah. Well, because I guess Prozac is the opposite of depression. It makes you feel so fucking good that you want to not come and not get a boner. No, the only like cartoon bands that I remember were Gorillas and then the, uh, the Frog. Crazy Frog? Crazy the frog. frog. Oh, is he not crazy anymore? That frog. It's like how Lil Bow Wow changed his name to Bow Wow or Billy Corgan goes by William Corgan. And this woke culture, you can't say the C word, C frog anymore. C frog. So it's just frog. C, C word frog. And then they took away his penis. Remember cunt frog? <laughs> they did take away his penis <laughs> no, and don't. they gave him a little cunt. <laughs> you guys remember Michigan no. Jew frog? No. My Mandela effect. I, I was there. <laughs> Michigan Jew frog, yeah. My Mandela effect, that was his name. Yeah, he now worked in the entertainment industry. <laughs> now it's just Jay. Michael J. Frog. <laughs> but that's, what, that's not like he changed it. It's not like they changed it. He actually changed it. Who, Michigan? Was there pressure? Yeah, Michigan. But was there pressure? Maybe. Maybe but like he's the one who actually changed yeah. it. Yeah. It sucked at Ellis Island when people would come over like Jewish people would come over from Russia or wherever and their middle name was Jew mm-hmm. and they yep. made him change it mm-hmm. to J. That's crazy. Oh, that's what happened to Homer Simpson, right? Yeah. Homer Jew Simpson. <laughs> yes. Hey, he's in the entertainment <laughs> industry. Hey. <laughs> no, he's a regular guy. They're just filming him. It's reality TV. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck. I don't know where any of this is going. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> all I'm thinking of is I saw uh, Alex was on the newest episode of Chapo, and there was someone in the replies saying, like, Alex is so good. Give him a permanent chair on the show. And I love to think of Alex going on the show and just, like, behaving like he does with us. <laughs> <laughs> Cut I, frog. I to tone it down a little bit. <laughs> Playing sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, said, I've said some pretty wild shit on this. Oh, I, I believe you. Yeah, people are mad. Not mm-hmm. mad, but there's some certain people that think he's like too mean because they're like, oh, because they're woke snowflakes. Whatever. People get upset. Yeah, fuck. People get fuck upset woke. when you're mean, mm-hmm. and that's we when we had our live show, we had uh, about twelve people <laughs> arrested at the door because they all brought mm-hmm. weapons. We're yeah, trying to we had to kick everyone out. Oh, yeah, should we talk yeah. about that? We had a great live show. Yeah, we had it was two wonderful. shows. We gave out a lot of uh, hotel key cards. Yeah. Thank you for everyone who came out and had to throw away a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we gave out participation <laughs> the, the trophies and medals. We did. 
Uh, we are the only podcast that will reward yeah. the fans with yeah. We gave out some trophies. of those trading cards. Somebody even took the uh, Bo Bice and Cherry Pop and Daddy CDs. Oh yeah, I gave yeah, them I away. I gave everything. I was just we did a big unboxing. People. Yeah, people. we did a big unboxing of some very cool stuff, and then I was just basically forcing all the all these people to take it with. I them. was going to take a medal to give to my pilot and put it on him after <laughs> the flight. <laughs> oh, they get enough accolades. Giving one to my Uber I had driver. A DEI flight on my way back. Oh, yeah. nice. It was fine though. Also, thank you everybody who brought weed for me too. I got to I got to smoke weed with a lot of you guys. That's There's a lot cool. of that floating around. A ton of it actually. I never had to think about where weed was going to be cuz there would just be another joint in my face like all yeah, weed. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. Also, uh a big a big thank you for not tainting yes. it yeah. with anything stronger. Yeah, it was cool on the way Appreciate on the way that. home on uh Monday morning Tom and I both got delayed and I I went to the cafe yeah. after I saw how full the fucking seating area was at the tiny airport and there was Tom sitting Woo! at a table. We got the chill mm-hmm. for like another Did hour to and myself. A half. There was a bunch of old people standing yeah. around. <laughs> Which said, airport? No. Uh, White Plains. White Westchester Plains. County oh, okay. Airport. It's it's awesome. You you walk in there and the security line, the both security lines, like the pre-check and the regular one, there's just nobody in line and the TSA agents are like bored as fuck. Mm-hmm. And they're super That's awesome. Nice. They were like, wow, yeah, what nice a shirt. The, you win shirt of easy. the day, my friend. <laughs> this fat New York guy. It was awesome. You could have come through there with drugs. Lovely and airport. Chilling. Yeah, everyone in that airport was nice. I missed all the chaos of like the delayed flights and stuff. The one lady that works like at the customer service desk just loved this one baby so much. And she's like, can I just hold her hand and take her for a walk around this big room? <laughs> and mom was like, please do. It was really cute. Oh. Super, super nice airport. Yeah, you can tell that they just don't have stress there. I would have got so pissed that there was a baby going to be on my flight. They basically only <laughs> get connector flights, so they don't, they're just super low stress. Usually what happens is I see a baby who's being perfectly calm getting on board and then I just freak out so much that I start screaming and crying and they have to escort me off the plane. And I'm just I'm just mm-hmm. giving a dirty look to that baby and the baby's just smiling. Why'd you do this? The baby's just Why'd smiling. He me? knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. No crying babies <laughs> on my flight. Well, there was one, but it stopped right away. I think it died or something. There would be if I was on there. Because <laughs> yeah. they would hear me screaming and crying and it would upset them. <laughs> There was a guy on the on the flight back sitting across from me, and he had his fucking sunglasses on and his head down like in his lap the whole time. He's so fucking scared. You could tell it's funny. I uh, there was an the old guy. So I had a window seat, and this old guy was in the seat next to me. And when I walked up, I was like, "Oh, that's my seat." And he stood up so fast, he slammed his head <laughs> into the overhead gear, and he was like, "Oh, oh!" I was like, "Oh man, are you okay?" Like this. Sorry, there's no rush. You don't want like, to. Not, fuck not a up. problem for me. <laughs> we're not. We're not taking off now. It's so funny. <laughs> I just felt bad the whole time. It's like, man, you didn't, you didn't have to like spring into action. It's okay. You should have felt good because it didn't happen to you. Well, I did. I mean, it could have happened to me. That's what you I was wouldn't afraid have stood of, up. that I was going to jump up. When the plane lands and I jump up immediately and cut across <laughs> his lap and then try to push through the, like a sea of people trying to be the first one off the plane. You're not going to clap? It could have happened to me. Well, I'm clapping the whole time. Oh, okay. You're clapping while you're standing up. We missed, we missed yeah. Aaron a lot. Hopefully Aww, we, did. we have now we have a whole year and it's it's a pretty pretty sure thing that we're gonna be doing it again around the same time next yeah, year. So I would plan say plan on being there. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be the exact same set, by the way. Yeah. It's gonna be like seeing an old comedian. And uh I would say that next year you can expect to see WFYM's live show ooh, number two. I feel Three. like a I feel like a lot of people will be there uh, or want to be want to a lot of people were sad they missed out, which obviously, but we really did uh, have a lot of fun. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to talk about it. We'll get to hear the whole thing. Even Felix said he's coming next year. So, yeah, that's also the big news is that Felix wants to come, too. So, hey, uh, come or don't come. Don't give a fuck. (laughs) I don't give a shit anymore. Be awesome. I'm smoking weed. But it rocks. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse. Yeah, thank you, Jesse. Thank you, The Yard and Beacon, New yeah, York. Thank you, Shout uh, out to and Olivia, lovely. Brendan, and Lexi. Yep. Mm-hmm. And all the dogs we met. And all the weed we smoked. All the dogs. The nights so we'll never for, forgive and the friends never remember. <laughs> the mm-hmm. 10% power, 10, Michael. 20% skill. Yeah. 15% mm-hmm. concentrated power will. Shout out to the family of deer that I avoided. Shout out to the family of groundhogs that chilled in the back by the Oh, yeah. The groundhogs. Those four of them. Oh, I didn't see that. The one big one. I took pictures. Yeah, you, all yeah I left. Uh, like right I'll send you some pics. I only had one night there. I had to drive home. 
I've seen a groundhog before. My parents have one at their house. Your employee of the month on the podcast. You went home and streamed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I saw. <laughs> I, I got home at like nine exactly, and I saw people were live on Discord, and I wasn't there for most of it. See, I had. It, it, was, was, uh, it was interesting because we saw. I saw a, a groundhog in the yard, and then I was prairie dogging Ooh. the whole oh, time. Oh, okay. Because of it, because you were scared. Or? No, no, that was just unrelated. It was just. I. It was a funny coincidence. Oh, okay. That during the, all the shows, I just had a little bit one, of poo. Oh, well, you could have just one got One funny it out. moment is someone called out at first when they saw it and said, oh, look, a beaver. And we all started going, let's go. Oh, let's go. <laughs> the beavers are here. The beavers. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Basically a beaver. It was cool to hear. Uh, it's a dry it was, beaver It was cool to no talk tail. like Vince with a bunch of people that were seemingly normal. Nice. Yeah, it's amazing seeing people in real life who are like own houses and cars and stuff, and they're like, "So what's up with the uh, what's up with Pick Rob? What's the deal with Pick Rob? <laughs> <laughs> like having a real conversation, having a conversation on a beautiful patio about Pick Rob." <laughs> Random people go, "Don't forget about me, y'all." <laughs> That's great. That owns. Sign my first. Sign my first autograph. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did. That was on. Oh there. yeah, I did too. Uh, yeah. I uh I signed I signed the Thanos hat and gave it away. Oh, yes. nice. Mm -hmm. To a lucky fan. So you're welcome. That's so funny. Sorry, nobody else got it. So no more pictures of the Thanos hat. But whoever got it could cut it in half, like Thanos. What would Thanos do? WWTD. Oh, my highlight of the week though is we finally cracked some packs of cards on stage, and in my uh, <laughs> Decision ninety two pack, I got. Uh, candidate for president david duke oh nice <laughs> yeah and it was stuck to jesse jackson there was one <laughs> jesse jackson with willie nelson and then it was stuck to uh david duke <laughs> those were weird because most of them didn't even have to do with the election it was just like it was a picture of the lincoln memorial like what a ripoff and they were all stuck together bill clinton saxophone was the first card opened yeah i was so mad I got I got those McDonald uh, cards thinking like, oh, this is going to be sick. Like, it'll be like pictures of burgers, <laughs> pictures of a chicken sandwich. But it was like a puzzle that had no like it in, like just card shaped puzzle. And some of the things were just like a foot. Oh. Yeah. It was just one of the characters foot. No one took a McDonald's cards and they threw them all away. Yeah. That's I was bullshit. so mad. Plus, it's BDS. Worst cards ever. And then, well, that's why we threw it away. I bought those before. So we did our Tennessee Treasures unboxing and then we also did a. <laughs> We did a tasting of a bunch of uh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Some bad kid candy. It was mm -hmm. a chocolate bar with red, red sour slime in it. Mm. It was OK. It, it was it was weird. It was just weird. The sour. It was like a sour strawberry slime inside. I would and love like, to give that to a mm -hmm. European and watch him puke. Yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Like the the flavor prof profiles of the chocolate with like sour yeah. slime. Yeah, it's it's just kind of weird. It wasn't crazy. Yeah. You don't think it's going to be like cherry cordial, but then it's like mm -hmm. warhead type sour inside. It's like a thousand Shirley Temples packed into a chocolate bar. It's quite tart. That's what we drank this week too. A thousand Shirley Temples. Nice. I missed out on Shirley Temples oh, again. They just kept handing them to us. The fans just kept handing them Three to Shirley us. Shirley Temples. Fucking so. Yeah, Aaron will never have. We one. gotta stop talking about Aaron's getting too much FOMO. Yeah, sorry, dude. We also we had the uh, the the lemonade Johnny bootlegger and we oh opened God. it and like we all took a sip of it and we we're like, oh, that's kind of gross. And then Chet just downs the whole <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, like we turn around for like five minutes and it's just gone. Well, it's like you drank it all. I took like a double swig of it too. I took. I drank like one drop of oh, it. Oh, the worst though by far was Nemo's Nutcracker. Yeah, Nemo's Nutcracker. It was a colada, and it smelled and tasted like lotion. Uh, yeah, like coconut lotion. It was lotion. Good body wash. It was so. Yeah, gross. that one I didn't even try. And it was in like, it looked like a bottle that was like a Windex refill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was. It was not. It was not normal. Actually, and then there was a flashlight we had that was in the box. Yeah, we all fucked it. We all we all took turns fucking. We all it. fucked it and came. The we all said, hey, hey, put your phones down. No pictures. No yeah. pictures. And it was the football. Someone took that home and he wasn't even in the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is funny seeing the uh, the pictures, because when you're up there, like I totally forgot that there was all those images. Yeah, like, I forgot there was a slideshow. Like we weren't even and talking then, about them. True. No, it, we had the whole nothing time to we do with the, the show. Boner, James <laughs> yeah, yeah, like the yeah. peanut butter. The peanut butter. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I was going to bring a, pea, uh, a jar of crunchy peanut butter with the hole with in the, the middle. Hole in <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I put that in the box, but I forgot. Give that away to somebody. <laughs> Doing it with crunchy, it just hurts. Aaron, you know, this is cool that I don't think we talked about much like in a DM or anything. Mm. Um, it was cool how many people came up to us and they were like, 
what great show. We're huge fans. We never talk in the chat, but we're always there. <laughs> so yeah. much lurkers that well, bought yeah, tickets. That man. rocks. Shouts out to lurkers. Well, that's crazy. I told him, I was like, you know what? Lurkers matter mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Yep. I say we workers are lurkers because I stream in the morning. <laughs> lurkers are workers. Yeah, workers that's are, right. Workers are lurkers. <laughs> that's how it goes. Be a lurker. Just, just sit in there. Who cares? Basically, you once anything. you have a computer job, you the two things you worry about uh, to, when you upgrade that, your job to another computer job is do I get more time to fuck around at work and is the money worth it if I don't? <laughs> <laughs> and that's mm-hmm. it. And do they have bean bags? Yep. And do they mm-hmm. have... Uh, and cereal in the break room. Do they have cure and soda, soda stream? Yeah. Do they have a vending machine? Or some some don't even have any machines. They just have a whole office like of free stuff. Well, I don't want to, I want to pay for it. I don't want to rip off my workplace. I still think McDonald's, it's fine to be on, to be on BDS, but I want to point out April 5th that McDonald's bought back all 225 locations in Israel from the franchise. So they can't be giving okay. IDF soldiers free food anymore. Hey, Whoa, so McDonald's, yep. let's go. Turns out Scottish people are the greediest race. And that happened actually back in, <laughs> that actually happened back in April. Yep. Oh, damn. Ebenezer Scrooge, Adam Smith. <laughs> You're right. Uh, let me think of That's Braveheart. Facts. Braveheart, yeah, he wanted all their all the king's gold to himself. Yeah, all king, he wanted that all that land. The he king's wanted land all the king's horses himself. and all the king's men. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty didn't get fixed by him though. Sucks. Oh, were you thinking of an egg when I said Humpty Dumpty? Well, guess what? He was a guy, that was a real yeah, guy. They never said That's he was a an real egg. Yeah. fucking guy. <laughs> what kind of psychopath wrote that song? They just saw a guy uh, sitting on a wall, and then he falls off and breaks his leg, and he's like, oh, oh, and then they have to come over and put him down with a bow and arrow like a horse. Because they don't have surgery yet. And then someone's just like, that was the funniest thing that I ever saw. I love seeing it. It's not funny. It's sad. It was just like a, you know, a memorial. I love the English word, uh, like the slang word to mean like dumb fuck, numpty. (laughs) Numpty is so good. (laughs) Numpty wanker. (laughs) They wouldn't let me put numpty in my Twitch uh, title. You know what's messed up though? Why is, why is wanker such a You can't say numpty or dunce in your title. You know what I mean? Dunce. You can't say dunce really? in the title. No. You can't say the That's D word. Fucked. Try to open OBS and put, put dunce in the title and hit update. That's annoying. Yeah. Wow. There's so many things you can't say. You can't say. bring back the dunce cap. You can't say I'm, you can't say I'm fucking my couch with my dick and putting cum in it. <laughs> oh, what? You can't say that? Yep. They do a reverse dunce cap now where like the, the dumb kid, not only do they not make them sit on a stool and wear that pointy hat, but they don't even fail people anymore. They don't make people go to summer school. They just want to keep the graduation rate at 100% so the dunces get pushed through. Dunce hats are so funny to think about. Put this hat on, you stupid little shit. Sit in the corner. You're so dumb. <laughs> little dunce. You're so dumb. You put the hat put on. on the numpty cap, you little bitch. The numpty cap. When do we stop using dun ca- dunce caps? Uh, 1993. Yeah. It was, a, it was a Supreme Court decision. Yeah, I wore it all the way up to first grade. <laughs> <laughs> When you wore the dunce cap, you had to wear it all the way home and have your parents sign it and wear it back the next day <laughs> to prove that you wore it. <laughs> yeah. You would have all your friends sign it like it. a cast. <laughs> you want to sign my dunce cap? Sure. <laughs> Ooh, uh, uh, England and Wales uh, banned dunce caps back in 2010. <laughs> Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> in America, uh, it was the 1950s. A, it says we stopped using so them. What's Scotland doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's pretty cool. I wonder who was. I wonder who was the last kid to have to wear a dunce cap, and what case brought it on? Where they're like, we got to ban these. Some kid killed himself because he had to wear a dunce cap, and he was embarrassed. See, I'd kill myself if I wasn't allowed to wear the dunce cap. Mm-hmm. When are they going to ban molesting at boys' schools? Wow, well, they're so. In England, it's a gray area they're still for working them. on that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's like fox hunts. There's a lot of it's see, part of the Tory problem, tradition. There's a lot of history. <laughs> it's part of their culture. You go to the you go to the school, and the boys the boys tie you up and spank you, and yep. they make you sit teachers in a coffin and jack off, and of, yeah, the teachers gape your asshole, and then <laughs> mm-hmm. you you fuck a pig, and then you get elected prime minister, <laughs> and you get to do it to all the boys you want. That's crazy. Is that true? Jeremy, yeah, Jeremy Corbyn dodged a bullet. That's why they didn't like him because he he wouldn't molest. He wouldn't fuck the pig. He wouldn't molest. He wouldn't fuck the pig. He look. He took one look at the pig and turned around. Yeah. <laughs> he did a three hundred and sixty and walked away. And they said, "Oh, he's probably Muslim. He's probably a secret Muslim." 
That's why he doesn't want to fuck the pig. Uh, oh, he's probably anti-Semitic Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they said. I remember. I remember clear as day. Yeah, it was in all the newspapers. Yep, and on and on the telly, the telly, right? the telly welly. I just wish I was the pig. Imagine getting fucked by all those famous guys, all those future prime ministers and mm-hmm. senator, or not senators, um, MPs and PMs, mm-hmm. heads of the banks, MPs, PMs, barristers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, barristers, barons, dukes, mm-hmm. earls, counts. They were called the barrister mm-hmm. bears when I in my timeline. That's why I'm Mandela. <laughs> I'm Mandela. It. The other day in the, that I talked about on one of the previous pods, the Mandela Effect group. The other day this guy had a really stupid one. And some guy said, in my timeline, you shut the fuck up. And it was really good. <laughs> yeah. I actually remember you not existing. Drama. <laughs> man, man, the Emmy drama right there. I could have fucking sworn your mom miscarried you, dude. <laughs> I fucking hate Mandela effects. That guy I posted the other day with the white guy dreads with a shirt that said, I just want to go home. And it has all this Mandela <laughs> yeah. effects on it. My God. <laughs> Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, uh, Jiff and Jiffy. Yeah. God it would be really cool, so cool if they changed all that stuff back, and then those people would be really successful in their adult lives. Yep. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't have to fixate the on it. Fruit Loops was spelled different, and Looney Tunes, and the Fruit of the Loom. Some of the things, they got, they got switched to a different timeline in 2012. It's like, well, what the fuck were you doing before then? You, your life sucked. <laughs> <laughs> what did they take you away from? <laughs> My work. I can't well, go back until never, all they'll this never know. Fixed, they'll never know because we're only yeah. on this timeline now. I have this crazy Mandela effect where I remember myself being a kid and like my mom would do my laundry or something. <laughs> and like now it's just, I don't remember. It. I don't see it. Well, see, in my, in my Mandela, like I used to have to go to school Monday through Friday. Oh, right? I, oh I had that every, one too. Every year, Monday through Friday, like seven to three, I was in school. And then all of a sudden, boom, stopped. What happened? Yeah, I don't... It's crazy. I think it was Obama, maybe. When did you graduate? Just a year ago. I'm 18. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm 18 so it's probably half. Biden. My Mandela mm-hmm. Fett, I used to have a much smaller penis. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. I used to have a bigger one. <laughs> Hairless area, too. That's what I tell me. people. The government took it. Obama cut off my penis, like that other guy. <laughs> in my reality, I didn't have any hair in my armpits. <laughs> you, you got the vax mm-hmm. and it shriveled up like a pigtail. In what world does a black guy have to steal part of a penis from a white guy? <laughs> that's my Artie Lang joke. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I think you said that. We recognize too much of what you were saying. So. Yeah. <laughs> Dang, it looks like Alex has had too much coffee today, the way he's passing out. <laughs> no, there. Too yeah, many, too, too many, many donuts. donuts. <laughs> Aaron, that's how they, oh, that's what how a sugar the, rush. That's how the crew would talk about Artie when he was obviously on heroin. They'd be like, what? what? having too much breakfast look at him over there he can barely speak (laughs) (laughs) he loves those breakfast sandwiches breakfast gets you fucked up just clearly like replacing a bunch of heroin and putting a bunch of other vices into his (laughs) to say that's what he's on because none of they all knew it but didn't want to say it yeah fair enough yeah it would kill the vibe yep he had to rely on uh on what's his face to save him who just died if someone's nodding, a uh, uh, Richard Lewis. Richard Lewis, yeah. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. I kept almost saying Lewis Black. I'm like, nah, that's not it. <laughs> it's Lewis Black. <laughs> that's not it. No, he would never help anyone. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> that piece of shit. Piece of All piece he of does is crap. help uh, help the Mac and PC guy start a fake university. Yep. It's like, what's his face saying? Here's your sign. Well, thanks. I guess. Yeah. What was that guy's name? Uh, Lewis Black. Yeah, Lewis Black. <laughs> The, yeah, the here's Justin, your sign guy. Justin, Justin, Justin. I think Lang. that was uh, Greg Justin. Fitzsimmons. <laughs> who's the I'm a Who's the I'm a Mac guy? I'm a Mac. Uh, I think that was Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah, Cedric. It's John Hodgman. It was Cedric the Entertainer <laughs> and Bernie <laughs> Mac. Fuck you and trolls. Were, well, it, it was really confusing because Bernie Mac was the PC guy, and then Justin Long. See, see, you know what? In my timeline, Justin Long was the PC, <laughs> and John Hodgman was the Mac. In my timeline, the PC guy was the Dell guy, and the Mac guy was Zach Braff. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Yeah. And also the Dell guy were... was Dak Shepard in my timeline. Oh, shit. Yeah. In my timeline in Garden State, when he says, you have to hear this song, it'll change your life, instead of the shins, it's Ba Wit Da Ba by Kid Rock. Yeah, mine around that no, time would have been Quick Quick Boom by Saliva. Mm. Yeah. Or, uh... Rest in Pieces by Saliva. Would that wouldn't be the Shin song I showed someone. To make this go away 
and let me rest in peace. So cool. That's definitely some fucking walking the presidential fitness mile task. <laughs> 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 uh. Headphones in, jeans on, walking, yeah. like <laughs> Headphone, beginning of May. <laughs> headphones in, drawstring in. Yeah. Their mouth. <laughs> Fuck. I wish I had a Zune. You will never be as happy as you were when you had your brown Zune. And you were listening to the red jumpsuit apparatus on your brown Zune. Zunes were unironically awesome. I loved mine. I loved my Zune so much. I wish I had one. I've talked about it before. I was, I scammed that live search club thing that they had where you would Mm -hmm. play like word search games and you would win prizes with Microsoft points. those were so cool. Mm -hmm. And someone made a bot where you could just do them automatically. And I ended up getting a copy of Windows Vista and some like, like a thermos and a couple other, like a, I think a headset. Okay, Richie Rich. And Right before they caught on and they banned everybody's accounts, I was, I ordered the Zune. I had enough points for the Zune and then they never shipped it to me. Fuckers. It's fucked up. You should sue. I should. I hate Bill Gates. All he cares about is money. Despite it being a Microsoft product, like they act like Microsoft went out of business. They just stopped supporting the Zune like immediately after they stopped selling it. They stopped yeah, yeah, they don't it. care. Same thing with like Windows Phone. And I know this because I had so many friends that loved their Zune and they treated it like a baby for like 10, 15 years after they went out of production. Then like one by one, they all dropped them or whatever. And it was so sad. I'm sure there's some for sale. Yeah, I'm sure. They sell uh, like go on eBay. no name brands, not like from from the Loblaws company, but like actual no name uh, MP3 players on Amazon. And, and be a wit. And be a wit. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, I was kind of. I don't know, interested in getting one just to keep in my gym bag in case my phone's out of battery after work. But uh, mm-hmm. then, then you have to put like actual MP3s on it, which is a pain in the ass with streaming. Like I have enough to fill it, but I would just get a power bank. I'm going to get a no, a no skip Sony Walkman CD player and then a bunch of MP3 CDs and put like 150 on each one. Perfect. And they're going to be in really <laughs> low quality. Yeah, I want Evanescence Fallen. Yeah. I want Corn Follow the Leader. Oh, I guess if you got, like, you already have those MP3s and, like, you just put, like, your gym playlists on yeah. it. It wouldn't be that terrible. Yeah, no, I, but, like, I don't know. I don't really want to spend I don't have that many MP3s. It's all on Spotify. On eBay, there's one for, like, eleven twenty seven. Ah, So, like, yeah, 11 I mean, bucks? Just a, That's not bad. About, it's just a computer chip. It's the same as, like, a, a burner phone or... Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, you can get a burner phone. <laughs> and then you can also just... Yeah, I mean, you could just use know. an old phone. Anything with you Android just, or... The burner phone is what I would have called the Obama phone, a Bernie one. Ooh, that's pretty good. But also, like, I bet, I bet those batteries last way longer than like an iPhone like six would. When I had like two phones ago, my it was an iPhone seven, and like I had it up until I think twenty twenty or twenty twenty one, and it the battery would die after like an hour and a half. I've just it got COVID, bro. Yeah, it got sick. It was coughing all it the had time. Had a fever. It was, I was hot all to make the calls. time. <laughs> I've been at the gym for like. 30 minutes and it would just die right away. I hate and it was that. just like, it sucked. <laughs> and I just have to bring like a charger with me everywhere I went. I don't even know what this iPhone is like a 13 or something, but it's so good that it, like the battery life two years in crazy. I've always loved those guys with the cracked screens and carrying their phone charges with them everywhere. Cause they're just refusing. Yeah, a new that phone. was me. <laughs> if you're a guy and you're doing that, that's kind of sus. Nah, you're, it's cool. You're actually, that, you're <laughs> really cool. That's yeah, female that's behavior. Really cool. I'm sorry, you're a slut. Uh, I was actually yeah. fine. <laughs> you're <laughs> really a fine. I had my thought phone for a long time. I uh, uh that phone, the screen cracked two weeks of owning it Ooh, because I was Christ. in my parents' bathroom and like I was taking a shit and uh, it fell out of my pocket onto the tile, like right Oof. on a corner, and it just cracked across. You didn't have a like, case? Well, no, uh, I had a case that like didn't ha- like doesn't have the front covered, like the ones mm. I have now, mm. and so like. You know, normally if you drop it face down, like it'll hit uh, like the case first and protect the screen. But like it dropped on a tile and like that was in the bathroom. Like that was like protruding. Yeah. You know? At an and, angle. Like, it just, oh, yeah, oh, at an angle. The wrong angle. Damn, and it just that cracked sucks. across. I know. It was so unlucky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah fuck was... tile. Tile should be straight across. There shouldn't be divots. My phone fell like three inches off my lap onto the cement and cracked. That was the only iPhone I ever broke like that. Or like, yeah, that same. cracked at all. That was the only my one. My iPhone that ever fell had an 15 issue. inches off my penis. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what, yeah. what were you standing on? <laughs> my penis. Oh, your penis. Oh, shit. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah. No. No, you weren't. No, you weren't standing on my How penis, do you know? dude. Get off my dick. <laughs> 
Dick Riders. The truly invincible phone era was the the next telephones with the rubber corners and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh man, well, it would be so cool to have an actual dick rider, like a really tiny guy, and he's like riding your your dick like a skateboard, like a tech that would deck. Suck, he's riding dude. your schmeat. <laughs> what if, what if you had a turtle riding your penis like a skateboard? You know what your dick rider would be called, Alex? <laughs> You know what? what? You know what your dick rider would be called? Sliver, mini, mini me? Sliver Surfer. <laughs> oh, Sliver Surfer. Dude, shut the damn. fuck up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the Silver Surfer's badass. Uh, so is hey, the Sliver Surfer. You know what your dick dude. rider's name would be? Uh, Button uh, Masher. Let's go. <laughs> you, hey, wait. Mashing it. Uh, Get him. Tom, roast him. Tom, you know Not what, me, though. You know, Not you know me, what though. Would be? <laughs> the Akron Acorn. Uh, rider, <laughs> yo, acorns actually grow into really big trees. Hey, zip it, <laughs> nice. Yeah, acorns are actually long as fuck if you yeah. actually do the math. Well, actually, like when they're yeah, they're small when like they first start out, but and as soon as they finish growing, they're fucking giant. So I maybe oh. had an acorn penis when I was a little baby, but now as an adult, I have a, a giant oak tree that's two hundred years uh, old. I actually, oh, that's that's cute. I was born with a giant penis, <laughs> and it has a giant hole in the bottom, and, and groundhogs live inside it. Guy that's only read the phrase. Are you guys? A, are you a growler or a shower? <laughs> are you a growler? A growler of beer. Hell yeah! My dick's the size of a growler. Ugh. Just a guy. A guy who flashed every. I'm a shower. I'm a shower. Yeah, I'm a shower. I have a I trench like coat. My penis. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what it means. Walking around. No, I'm a shower. I shower my dick. It's so big. <laughs> it's so gross. I gotta show everybody. Yeah. Keep leaving. It's like an onion. <laughs> I'm neither. I just stay soft. Nice. If you've never been hard, you don't know how big you are hard. So you could hypothetically be like 200 inches. That's true. It's the uh, it's the Schrodinger's uh, cat experiment, right? If you've never seen it, you can't be sure. It's like how Tom Hanks in Castaway he left that one box, so he mm -hmm. had something to live for. And all of it, and <laughs> it was a flashlight in there. You could have been having so yeah, much turns fun. Turns out it was a flashlight. <laughs> that lady ordered a flashlight for herself. <laughs> it was a gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lady probably ordered it to scissor with. Mm -hmm. That movie because I crazy. heard they do that. He gets, it's based off a true story too. Yeah, so mm -hmm. he gets stuck in this airport for like 15 years, and then they let him out. <laughs> yeah, they finally the get flight, him on a plane, on and the it flight crashes. home it crashes. <laughs> <laughs> so it fucking fucked. sucks. And it was right after he got turned into an adult by a vending machine. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's because they let Leonardo DiCaprio uh, pilot it. After he lied about being a pilot. Yeah. I'll catch him if you can, checks. but I doubt you will. <laughs> well, no, he did that on the boat. That's oh, no, Tom Cruise. Tom, Tom, Tom Hanks well, on his way out. Yeah, Tom, Tom Cruise did it on the plane. Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise was Cruise. in the plane. Tom Cruise when he's the captain, motherfucker. <laughs> Get it? Tom Hanks on his way home was uh, taking the boat, and then it was taken over. And it was also very sad. That is, that is the third part of the saga. When he gets off the <laughs> island, and then the Somali pirates take the ship over, and he's almost home. Sucks. And then he finally got home and he went to Seattle and he got some fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he got some strange in his apartment. He definitely didn't get any mm -mm. sleep though, that's for sure. Nope. No. <laughs> yeah. Because he was up all night fucking. <laughs> yeah. He's we'll just show. smoking meth out of a meth pipe over and over again, just fucking like 18 hours in a row. He's fucking hey, we've all been Claire there. McRyan. <laughs> McRyan. <laughs> Fuck, he's fucking McRyan. <laughs> I don't uh. like Scottish people. Nah, they're greedy. We've learned. They're greedy. Yeah. All they care about <laughs> is money. Race. Yeah. <laughs> care about the fucking gold at the end of the rainbow. That's it. All they care about is money and gold and profit. And meanwhile, these Israelis are trying to take care of their friends. They're just trying to give a hamburger to their friends. They will dance again. <laughs> they're <w> turning <laughs> on the David Guetta after you go for doing war crimes. I watched a, I watched a bunch of bands today cover "Let's Get Retarded" by Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> Great song. Cool. There, were, one of them was. They can uh, say it. Like Fergie peed herself. Well, one of them was a French band, so they're literally <laughs> okay. allowed to say it. That's their word. That was sweat. Fergie's neurodivergent. No, that was just sweat. But they can't say it anymore. That's why they changed the well, title. Well, the everywhere. French, the French can still say it though. It's their word. They're That's going, true. Let's get retarded. Ah, well, it doesn't. It means something different. In here. It means something different over there. Yeah, I mean, it means let's get French. Yeah. <laughs> you translate it. Um they they actually changed that Obama asked them to at the White House. He Is that true? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought he was based. Yeah. I thought he loved saying the R word. When they were there he said hey <laughs> long time ago. Uh, when the black guy of the Pope. visited the White House and Obama was here, he said, Hey, when you're here, it's the white guy peas. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Obama thinks it's the black guy peas. 
<laughs> did you see Eminem did that in his new song? He said "Black Guy Peas." Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I it was I a part of like an R. Kelly joke. I, I haven't listened to it yet. Yeah, yeah, it was an R. Kelly joke. We're still doing R. Kelly jokes. Mm-hmm. He is man. It like part of that song. <sighs> It like starts off kind of fine and then it just like takes a hard left and like what are you, oh, nice. what are you mad about? I love left. <laughs> what you, left just What are you what are you getting I, so I hard right, I guess? I still haven't listened to it, but I'm not sure what exactly what he's talking about. He's just like it's like classic Eminem just being like mad about everything and like thinking everybody's mad at him like it's like 19 It was very much still. like a without me style song and I read a bunch of discourse in the replies to it being released. Half of them saying that he was doing it as a bit because the album's called The Death of Eminem. And so he like made yeah, an intentionally okay. bad retro Eminem song. Uh, and then okay. there's a bunch of other people saying this sounds like retro Eminem. This is based. Uh, I don't really have an opinion. It was OK, I guess. There was weird stuff about participation trophies. Um, mm-hmm. I feel yeah, like, did we talk like about just... this on the show already? Oh, so, we so briefly it, mentioned only it. briefly i think yeah depending on how long ago the song was or we did we talked about like i remember michael saying he hasn't listened to There's it but that might have actually oh, yeah. just been in person in my reality it, but the last song i heard from him was rap god i think and it was too fast too many words i need to go back to my my band d12 type lyrics i swear to fucking god dude you fucking rock please marshall please let me suck your cock what a great line what's the song it uses <laughs> like the houdini it's um Abracadabra. Okay. By Steve uh, Miller Band? Yeah, by Steve Miller Band. Oh, that's like, sick. That's a like great the, that's a great Yeah, sample. that's a great song. And it, it like it's the first part of the song sounds kind of nice and it's sort of like it is like old M&M, but you're like, "Oh, that's kind of like eh, it's not a bad song." And then he yeah, he starts complaining about participation trophies and says, "R. Kelly, Black Eyed Peas." And it's like, "Okay, what like what what year are we in?" It's so odd. Well, we do give out participation trophies. <laughs> but I guess like maybe it is sort <laughs> of like not a really... trolley. Like no one gives those out anymore and it has nothing to do with millennials. Like that is, there is sort of a problem like that. Like what I was talking about earlier about how they don't let, let teachers hold kids back a year anymore. Mm -hmm. I, uh, well, I remember back in, uh, like the, the school Olympics at the end of the year, we do like the sack races and everything. Like if you got like seventh, eighth place that give you like a brown ribbon, that was like the color (laughs) they chose. And it's like, you know, I don't, I don't want this. What am I going to do? It's a brown ribbon. And yeah, but it's also like, like no one would ever know. The, the kids they're doing that to are like seven years old. So it's like, sure, what what do we fucking care that like a seven year old? It's not like you're in high school. Well, not, no, they're they do, do that to high school. Yeah. Well, now, but or, like or, not or, the participation, participation trophies. trophies. Yeah. yeah, participation. I mean, they're still holding kids back or not like, holding kids back. That's the problem because they don't want to deal with them another year. Yeah. Like, but that's just but like the participation trophy discourse never made sense because yeah, you're not like. You're not a, a soccer team in the playoffs and you lose in like the second round and they're like, well, here you go. Here's your trophy. Like, no, you're just fucking done. Like, that's yeah, normal. shit from kindergarten always that no that. one remembers. Yeah. And like, if why would happened. you get mad? Like your 10 year old son gets a trophy for like participating in baseball that year. And you're like breaking it in half, spitting in his face. Yeah. Like, fuck you. You didn't win. <laughs> yeah. like, like, who cares? Most what kids, does it matter? Most kids aren't that dumb. That they get that trophy and they think they won. They're not stupid. They know they didn't win. And like, it's not like the other kids treat them like they won. It's just a piece of trash you throw away. Yeah. Like it's a sportsmanship trophy. Oh yeah. You were like a great sport. All right, bud. Now keep it moving. (laughs) There should be a trophy for bad sports. Always have one kid that doesn't get one. Then it's not a participation trophy. Yeah. I think I said maybe during the live show that they should give participation trophies to half of the losers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do a lottery. I love the that. good participants or they should decimate them and every 10th loser they should kill. They mm-hmm. should, they have to the make kid. the other nine beat them to death with a club. I like like the Romans with, the, with the trophies <laughs> with the, with the participation trophies. <laughs> Are you guys beating the heat this week? It's cold. Yeah. Here. I've been beating my meat. Not really. It snowed uh, just outside of Calgary last night. Yesterday's highs and lows for America. Rio, Rio Grande down in Texas, which is always like one of the hottest towns was one sixteen, mm-hmm. And there was a town in Oregon near Klamath that was 19 degrees for the low. No, that was Damn. like the spread, almost a hundred degree spread. 
Yeah, that's a dry heat, though. You know, just a dry cold, too. (laughs) Speaking of things burning up before the show ends, we got to pour one out for our favorite bar in Buffalo that burned down the pink. Oh, yeah. The old pink. pink. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was crazy. That's the pink. Monday morning. Bummer thing to wake up to. Devastating. I got ripped off at that bar. I thought I was buying weed off some guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, The paper towels. That's that's the perfect story for to take away from that place. There was (laughs) a guy who quote tweeted like one of the fire videos and he said, I can't believe. I, he said, I can't believe it. I was in town for business last weekend, and I went to the pink, made sure I stopped there before I left. And, of course, I got a steak sandwich. He said, I, I just started eating it, and some guy walked in and started making conversation and sneezed all over it. There was about <laughs> 75% of the sandwich left, and I didn't finish it. can't believe that'll be my last memory of the pink. <laughs> <laughs> well, fortunately, there's a bar across the street that's called The Stink. <laughs> they, have, they, they take there. the overflow from the pink. That place would grow. They take, well, they could take, they take two. half those sandwiches. Yeah. <laughs> they could take one or in two. In that one, the, the urinal is just on the floor. It's not even like a it's, drain or anything. It's in the middle of the bar. They have bar. a sump pump <laughs> urinal at the stink. Um, we're running out of places where you can pee like a pig. It sucks. Yeah. No, at the, uh, at, the, at the live show. Yeah, they had that big urinal trough right across from the, mm-hmm. from the, the stalls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, was awesome. it was too high up for me yeah. to get to. I had to go get a step stool to get my penis. In you it. could just uh, you could just rinse it down too. We yeah, do they our, had faucets to flush it. Yeah, I thought <laughs> for next year for our our show at the yard, we can take the fucking we can take the meme. I want to see you in the barnyard, but it'll say I want to see you at the yard with the date on it. Oh, oh, there you go. all right, you like that one. Hey, someone, when when we announce it, remind us of this. <laughs> remind us of this. <laughs> Tell moment. us to make it. Let's start the Google Drive. Please do that. Again. One of you, one of you, uh, will be activated once we. Yeah, this that. is a this is a, this secret. Is a secret. We are, message. Yes, we are sending you sending right now. a secret message. <laughs> Official <laughs> secret message of WFYM. <laughs> Very cool. So we've they should put we've a reminder in, in your phone. We've been announcing mm-hmm. uh, secret messages when we send them out, so people don't get, have to yeah. be freaked out and mentally ill about it. Yeah, we did actually. You know what? If we could edit this part in, uh, there will be a secret message at. 58 minutes into this podcast. Anything up until then is not a secret message. <laughs> well, then it's not a secret. It's not a secret if they don't have to listen to the whole... Now, now the schizophrenic people are just going to skip right to that. We're going to lose watch hours. We're going to lose our watch no, hours. No, that's fine. I don't care about watch hours. <laughs> that kills viewer retention if you tell them where it is. It's like if you say where the, where, when the ad is over. Yeah, it's like if you say mock tech at the very end of the podcast. <laughs> hey. <Yeah. laughs> What? <laughs> it's nice of him to listen to our podcast. It's nice of all of them to listen to the podcast. Yeah, and thanks for the watch hours. Tom. We've paid more attention <laughs> to him than anyone else in his life in the last 20 that's years. True. And if, We're basically his parents. And if he is listening, <laughs> yeah. anything bad that's happening from him is probably coming from his poor attitude and his, his hateful words he posts on Twitter. And I don't think Absolutely. it's going to stop anytime soon until he stops. And I'm mm-hmm. just going to say, if I was his dad, I think me and my son would not give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. If you catch my drift. Oh yeah. I think I would have a grandson pretty soon coming out of my son. <laughs> you're a grand old son and you're full of my cum. Sorry. Oh man. Oh, right. on Leaks out his belly button. <laughs> well, a lot hole. does. He's got to plug his <laughs> hole because his dad's com- his sputum's coming through. All right, everyone. Thanks for thank you for listening. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming to the live show. I want to see. Yeah, you thank you, the everybody. Yard. The next episode, I think, will be the live show recording. Yeah. Oh yeah, cool. And, and it's, it's not, so good. Oh my so god! Fuck. You're gonna come when you listen to it. This podcast will make you come. In the words of Joshua Stange, Jesus Christ is the water in life, and He is so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, He's so good. Prayers up. Prayers yes. up. Our Amen. God is an awesome God. I mean, bye bye. Bye. Bye bye.